So NASA's latest mission is the Mars 2020 mission, and it's bringing the Perseverance rover to Jezero Crater, which is a 30 mile diameter crater that once hosted a lake on Mars. And the evidence for this lake is a large delta deposit that looks a lot like the Mississippi River Delta. And so this mission has several goals. So one of the main goals is to look for signs of ancient microbial life, also to study the geology and climate of Mars in the past. A really cool thing about this particular mission is that it's gonna be collecting samples of Martian soils and rocks. And hopefully those soils and rocks are gonna be coming back to Earth in future missions. Um, and there's also a couple of instruments that are going to be used to try and understand the potential for bringing humans to Mars as well. So the Perseverance rover, I like to think of it as a robotic geologist. The rover itself is the size of a small compact car um, and carries several uh, unique instruments. So it has a zoomable camera, a weather station, it has an instrument that can convert uh, CO2 to oxygen, and it also has several instruments that are going to be used to look for signs of life. So the rover launched uh, July 30th at 7.50. Eastern time. It takes about seven months to travel between Earth and Mars, and so the scheduled arrival is going to be on February 18th of 2021. So the biggest thing that has to happen when it first arrives is that it has to land safely. And so the landing system um, is composed of a parachute, it's composed of a uh, descent vehicle that will slowly lower the rover close to the surface, and then it uses tethers to um, gently place it on the surface. So once the Perseverance rover touches down, it's going to operate on the Martian surface for one Martian year, which is equivalent to two Earth years, um, where it will collect samples of Martian rocks and soils. It will cache those samples. And then the hope is that there will be future missions that will come and return those samples to Earth. And I think a really, really exciting outcome of um, this particular mission and our current Mars exploration is the idea that in possibly as soon as the 2030s, we'll actually be bringing humans to explore the red planet. So currently we have not found signs of life on Mars, uh, but the first billion years or so of Mars's history was very similar to Earth. So it had rivers, lakes, maybe even an ocean. And so there is the possibility that microbial life could have evolved. So I think Mars matters for several reasons. Um, one is this idea of the origin and evolution of life. So are we alone and how did life evolve in our solar system? Um, Mars is very similar to Earth. So it has a complex geology, it has climate, and it's experienced a, um, basically it's experienced climate change. And so it lets us explore um, how climate change has affected other planets and how that might affect um, the Earth. And then lastly, I think we're humans, we're explorers. And so, um, you know, it's exciting to go to these unknown places and learn more about ourselves um, and the world around us. Mm -hmm.